it smells like a dream. It literally smells like a tropical vacation. A vacation that I really need to take. I'm so stressed, especially with home renovations and all of that. But let's get into it. <laughs> What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be testing out some hot new beauty products on the market. I was strolling and patrolling the beauty aisles at Walmart recently and I came across a bunch of hot new makeup products that I cannot wait to try out in today's video. I mean, who would I be if I wasn't kicking off the year with a new at the drugstore video? I mean, come on, that's what we do here. Beauty on a budget all day, every day. So if you love that, make sure you guys stop what you're doing and press that subscribe button. It is completely free and if it's free, it's for me. So so if it's free, I know it's for you too. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With that being said, let's go ahead and zoom in and let's get started on the look. Let's go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I will be using this eyeshadow base by Alter Ego. It is an eyeshadow primer that I've been testing out for a little minute and honestly, I do really like it. It is a little sheer in consistency, so it's not gonna completely mute out my eyelids or anything like that, but it's affordable. It's an eyeshadow base that's formulated for eyeshadow application and it does the trick, it does the job. So I'm in it, feeling it, definitely check it out. I will have it listed down below along with all of the products I use within today's video. For eyeshadow today, I will be using this palette right here by Wet n Wild. Now, Wet n Wild recently launched a bunch of new color icon eyeshadow palettes in this size right here. And these are so pretty. I really, really, really love the size of the eyeshadows. And what really drew me to this one in particular is that it literally reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. Does it not? Affordable dupe, five bucks. Urban Decay Naked Honey is 42, so definitely take your pick. We will be putting this on our eyes today and seeing how it performs, but very, very similar. Just saying. This palette right here is called the Call Me Sunshine Eyeshadow Palette. What I'm going to do is I am going to take the mustard yellow within this palette and I'm gonna take it in my crease to use as my transitional shade. So the next shade I'm gonna take is this mid-tone brown right here. I am just gonna tap my brush in there and I do want you guys to know that they are very, very softly packed. As you can see, I do have a generous amount of kickback in the pan, which I know can be a pro or con to some people. Personally, I don't mind, but I know some people find it to be a little powdery when it does that. I just find it to be a little more softly packed than a hard press eyeshadow and again, I don't mind. Now for today's look, I am going to be using a little bit of concealer to carve out some lid space, just so that way my lid color really stands out and pops. So I'm going to do that with a little bit of my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. It is one of my favorite products to cut my crease with. So I definitely want to go in with some kind of lid color. This color is really screaming my name, this really pretty gold. But usually whenever I use a shade, I do put it in my very inner corner. So trying to figure out what we're gonna do. This one is also really pretty too. It kind of pulls a little bit more greenish bronze. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna put it closest to my outer V area just by tapping it with my finger. I'm not gonna put this in the very inner part of the lid, at least not yet. Following that, I am gonna go in with my next shade, which is that really pretty yellow. I'm gonna put that all over my lid with a flat brush and I'm gonna blend it into that olive greenish bronze. That olive greenish bronze. I don't know, for some reason I just can't speak today. I think it's all of the coffee I've had this morning. So I did put that color all over my lid. I put it on completely dry and as you can see, it has a very, very nice color payoff to it, which is great. I am going to spray my brush with a little bit of fixing mist. I will be using the Dewy Glow Fixing Spray by Catrice just to give it a little bit more slip and just so that way I can get a little bit more precise right in this area where I cut my crease. Then I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that olive bronze shade and I'm gonna tap it into this yellow to give it a better blend. And you can overlap it. You can really do whatever you want to get it to blend a little bit better. 
The next shade I'm gonna take from within the palette is this one right here. This formula definitely reminds me of formulas that I would see in like a Huda Beauty palette or something like that. They look very, very wet when swatched on the finger. So I am going to apply this directly over top of that really pretty yellow shimmer just to give it more of like a foiled effect. And I am gonna use my finger because I do find that the formula of these shadows work better when you apply them with your finger. Now what I'm making sure to do whenever I go in with the shadow is I do press it between the yellow and that olive shade just so that way they melt into each other. The next shade I'm gonna pick up is the dark brown from within the palette and I'm gonna use this to smoke out my outer V. The brush I'm using is an M514 by Morphe. I'm gonna start tapping this and I'm really gonna start building up the shadow to give it a little bit more intensity and drama. I also really feel like I wanna add like a black to this look to really just smoke it out, but let me know what you guys think. What would you guys do in the comments down below? I feel like it needs something a little extra, you know? So this is a close-up view of what the eyeshadow looks like. Honestly, this eyeshadow palette performs just as good, if not better, than high-end eyeshadows. For the price point of $4.98, honestly, you can't even really beat it. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it looks very similar to a look I've done with my Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I'm just saying, very, very good price point. They also launch a bunch of different colorways. So I have this one, this one, and this one. They also launch five pan color icon eyeshadow palettes. So if you take this one away, they have smaller ones in store. So definitely check them out. I will have them all listed down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. But let's go ahead and move on. I definitely wanna do liner. I'm gonna do a smoky liner because that's what I've been into recently. So I'm going to take my Too Faced liner. This is the killer liner in the shade Espresso. And I'm gonna start by lining half of my lid towards the outer V. Then with a the brush, I'm just going to buff and blend this out. I'm gonna take the black shadow from the Light Soft Shadow Palette that Wet n Wild came out with and I'm just going to start blurring and smoking this out. So at this point, I definitely feel like the black liner really set this look off. I didn't really need to go in with black closest to my outer V, but I just needed a little more smoke and the liner did just that for me. So I'm gonna take a little makeup wipe here and I'm gonna clean up the fallout that I got as a result of buffing and blending out that liner. And then we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. So let's go ahead and work on the face. I'm gonna start off with the serum. This is the Chill Out Skin Serum by Flower Beauty. It says it gives your skin instant hydration. It's great for all skin types and it's refreshing. It says stressed out skin, get your hydration fixed with the Chill Out Skin Serum infused with hemp derived CBD and formulated with a powerhouse of ingredients that help rebalance the skin to a zen state. So my skin definitely needs that right now. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and prep my skin before I go in with a primer. So this doesn't have a fragrance scent to it. I'm not entirely sure if there's fragrance in it. God, I hope not, because as you guys know, fragrance just does not work well for acne prone skin. But it feels really, really nice on my skin. Definitely hydrating and very moisturizing. The next step in my routine is going to be using the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I'm gonna use this as my primer today just to really add that boost of hydration to my skin on top of using the Flower Beauty CBD Serum. So my skin is gonna be all the way hydrated. Next, I'm gonna go in with a color corrector by Flower Beauty. This here is the Flower Beauty and CBD color corrector in the shade Medium Peach. I'm gonna use this directly underneath my eyes and I'm gonna put it in all the areas where I have my blemish blemish what? My blemishes, my scarring, stuff like that. Areas where I have a little bit more discoloration because it's really gonna help out when I decide to go in with my base product. So instantly you can definitely see how much that color corrector really helped just brighten up my face and really cover up all of those blemishes. So it's definitely a step I like to do, especially if I know I'm going to be working with something that is a little bit more sheer in coverage. So today I'm gonna use this by Wet n Wild. This is brand new. This is the Tinted Hydrator. It has hyaluronic acid and squalene and it's oil-free. It has sheer to medium coverage. I picked up two different shades here because I was not entirely sure which one was going to be my better match. So I have light 
light medium and medium tan. Worst case scenario, if light medium does not match me, I'll just mix the two to get a custom shade. So let's actually go in and see what this is all about. I'm gonna squirt some on the back of my hand just to show you guys the coverage. Ooh, okay, so it is a little runny. Honestly, this definitely reminds me of the tinted hydrator that Urban AK recently came out with. Mm, it's looking a little light. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of medium tan as well. Ooh, medium tan actually isn't dark at all. Do you see medium tan compared to light medium? It's a little darker, but nothing crazy. I think I could actually just use medium tan. I'm just gonna dot this all over. And again, it does have sheer to medium coverage. So I'm not looking for something that is going to be full on coverage. This definitely is meant to be a your skin but better product. So I'm gonna take a sponge to really buff and blend it out to see what kind of coverage I can get with this. So my thoughts on this product is that it's very, very pretty and very lightweight on the skin. It feels very hydrating. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to dry down or how it's going to oxidize, but my skin still looks like skin. I feel like this is an awesome day-to-day -day product. Again, I will have to continue wearing it for a period of time to let you guys know how it wears throughout the day and things like that. But so far, it looks really, really pretty on the skin. I do personally feel like they need to work on the shade range a little bit because medium tan is not really medium tan at all. It is very, very light. So that's just my opinion. I do wanna go in with the concealer though. They do have this new concealer as well. This is the Megalas Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. And the shade I picked up is light medium. So I'm gonna try this out as well. Ooh, the applicator is really, really nice. I don't know what it is, but anytime I go in with a sheer base product, I always have to complement it with full coverage concealer because light coverage underneath my eyes does not look good at all. So I'm definitely going to go in with a little bit more of this. I'm also gonna take some of this on my chin area because as you guys know, with the e.l.f. CC cream that I tested out a few videos back, this was the area that wore the quickest on me throughout the day. So I'm going to layer up in this area because I already know what's up. Whenever I go in with something sheer, it just does not really last all that long in those areas. So I'm gonna switch over to using this e.l.f. sponge right here. I like that it comes to a point and I'm just going to tap in and just buff and blend. Okay, so this is marketed as a full coverage concealer, but what I'm finding is that it's very, very natural. It's not too heavy, it's not drying at all, and it's blending out beautifully on the skin and it really complements the product I'm using as a base. Mm, okay, very different. Zoomed you guys out a little bit so that way you guys can see what my face is looking like. It looks so good. I'm going to take a little bit of my face powder and I'm just going to use it to set all the other areas of my face because that is important. So far, so good. I am digging it. It looks really pretty and like very, very natural on the skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a shit ton of makeup, which I'm into right now. I'm now gonna move on to a new bronzer. This is by Physicians Formula. This is the Matte Manoy bronzer, I wanna say, and it smells, it smells so good. It smells like a tropical vacation, a vacation that I need to go on very badly. Like, I'm so stressed with home renovations and all that. I haven't been on a vacation in years, and this is, this, this is as good as it's gonna get for me, so. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm just gonna bronze with it. It does smell really, really good. I tend to really, really love Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So when I saw this, immediately I knew it was going in my car and it was coming home with me. Ooh. So this definitely gives me a really pretty bronze. It's very sheer, but it's definitely buildable. Do you guys see my forehead versus the rest of my face? Like, I love that. I'm also gonna use this bronzer to add some definition to my nose. You guys know I've really been into nose contour, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go to town and really chisel out my nose. Then with a little bit of my face powder, I'm just gonna kind of buff and blend it over top of 
the bronzer just so that way it's not like super warm my face powder is going to kind of tone it down a little bit this is just my little trick it's how i've been doing my nose contour recently and i've really been loving the way it looks in photos after that i like to take a little bit of loose powder and just put it on the edges and the center of my nose to really just like pinch it this is really going to give you that good nose snatch and I just let it bake there until I'm done with the rest of my face. I'm now going to move on to blush. And it's also by Wet n Wild. I promise you this video is not sponsored by Wet n Wild. They've just recently been launching a ton of new products. So I'm going to use the Hello Halo. This is a blush lighter in the shade I Met Someone. I want to say this came out sometime last year. I just never got around to using it. And there is my blush brush on the floor i'm going to just use this then this here is just a bh cosmetics number three i'm gonna mix the two together to see what's up shimmery so instead i'm just going to use this blush right here this is one of the elf cosmetics putty blushes i'm not entirely sure of the shade name because they didn't come on the bottom here and i don't see it listed on the product at all but i'm going to figure it out i'm going to have it listed down below i'm going to use that same brush and i'm just going to go in and start to build this up this is a really really beautiful peach shade which is very similar to the peach within the hello halo blush lighter by wet and wild but it's just not shimmery I don't really want my blush to be shimmery, so I have no idea what their angle was when it came to that. For highlighter, I'm just gonna go back into the Hello Halo product by Wet n Wild, and I'm gonna use a highlighter because the highlighter is really pretty. The blush, on the other hand, <laughs> not my jam. Right, so after that, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna brush off that nose bake. Look how snatch that looks. Then I'm gonna go in with that highlighter and put it on the tip of my nose and the bridge. I've been doing this a lot in some of my Instagram photos and you guys always ask me how I get my face to look so incredibly glossy. And this is kind of what I do. I put a little bit right here on the bridge so that way when I take pictures it really pops and then I put some on my forehead, cupid's bow and chin. I guess you can say hmm, I'm back to applying that highlighter because before I really just wasn't into it but now I'm just like I want to glow I want to glow I definitely need to finish off my lower lash line so I'm gonna do that with you guys really quick but I mean it is a little repetitive what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this and some of this and a little bit of this in the outer V and just smudge it out down there smoke it out and with the power of editing lower lash line is done okay let's move on to mascara i definitely want to try out the lash out loud volumizing mascara by elf cosmetics i'm just gonna go in with this i want to say i tried this out before can't really remember but it is a plastic bristle i'm gonna just go in and coat my lashes i am going to be putting on falsies today but i want to see like what this does for me before i go in with the falsies So verdict on the mascara, it is honestly really, really pretty on its own. I feel like you can't really see the full potential of the lashes because I do have on that liner, but it really separated my lashes and gave them length and all of that. So I'm a happy camper. I am going to put on false lashes. I'm gonna use these lashes right here. These are the Jamie One Lashes by Tati Lashes. I did customize these. I cut them right here in the front and then I also shortened them in the back for more of a fit and flare look. So I'm gonna pop these on to really just take this eye look to the next level. And then we'll finish off with the lips. Let's actually move on. I'm gonna use my tried and true lip liner. This is by Milani. If you guys did miss my last video or my last video before my last video, I talked about all of my favorite nude lip combos and this is one of the lip liners I mentioned. I have a ton of other favorites in that video so definitely check out that video if you want some fire nude lip combos but I'm gonna use this to line my lips and just slightly fill them in but I'm not going to fill them in completely. For my actual lip color, I'm gonna use this new cloud paint. This is a marshmallow lip mousse by Wet n Wild in the shade Flutter Mutter. It's a really pretty peachy nude, so I'm gonna use this to fill in my lips and blend it in with my lip liner. 
this might be my new favorite lip formula. Just saying, I'm gonna finish things off with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I went ahead and zoomed you guys out and this right here is the final and completed look. Am I surprised that I was able to get a face like this using affordable products? No, I'm not. I sit on here every single week and I test out affordable products and I show you guys that you don't really have to break the bank to feel and look good and today is no exception. So that is pretty much my little mini review demo testing out new affordable products at the drugstore. If you guys want me to test out any other products that I did not mention in today's video, let me know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe like this video and turn on your post notifications so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.